What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. It's time to speculate what the next Nexus device is going to be packing. The folks at Sam Mobile think they've got all the specs. Let me run them down for you and let's talk about what I think might be added on top of that and what you think the next phone might have. Let's get started. <laughs> So the Galaxy Nexus has been a pretty awesome phone, in fact it's my phone of choice right now. It's not the best spec phone out there in the Android world. That crown would go to the Galaxy S3 or the HTC One X. But in my mind it is the best Android experience out there right now. I love the Nexus line of devices for their pure, unadulterated Android goodness. I'm not the biggest fan of all the Android skins, I think they can slow the phone down. I think Android as it was meant to be enjoyed is an incredible experience and the hardware on the Galaxy Nexus absolutely rocks. Samsung has made the past two generations of Galaxy devices and it looks like they might be making the third. We heard some grumblings that maybe there might be five or six Nexus devices made by different carriers. Uh, but for right now, let's focus on just one. So the original Galaxy Nexus has a screen of 4.65 inches. It's a super AMOLED screen. The new Galaxy Nexus, let's call it the Galaxy Nexus 2 just to make it easier, uh, is going to have the same 4.65 inch screen, but it's going to be super AMOLED HD. From a processor standpoint, this is a one 1.2 gigahertz dual core A9 processor. We're gonna have a small jump to a 1.5 gigahertz dual core A9 processor. So a little jump. Everyone's gonna be up in arms. I want quad core. Why can't we have quad core? The reality is Android rocks on the Galaxy Nexus. That little speed bump, it's gonna rock even more. A jelly bean and Project Butter hum along perfectly. This has a five megapixel camera. New one will have an eight, so little bump there. Awesome. I'm not the biggest fan of camera phones anyway. I don't think they take average pictures, but hey, if you're a big fan of doing your self portraits, storage, 16 gigs, that's going to stay the same. We are hearing that it's going to have a micro expansion slot. I would expect though that the next Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy Nexus 2, let's say, will ship with just Jelly Bean on it and be upgraded to the next version of Android, maybe Key Lime Pie when it's announced. So don't be all raging mad about the lack of cutting edge specs. Google uses these phones as their reference devices, meaning they build the Android code to work perfectly on this phone. And I know a lot of people get caught up in, oh, the Quadrant's was 10,000 less or 2,000 less than the One X or the S3. End user experience is what matters, at least for me. And end user experience on the Galaxy Nexus has been awesome. And I expect that the Galaxy Nexus 2 to be even higher. One thing I would have liked to have seen is a bigger screen. Uh, 4.65 is a pretty nice sweet spot and I like the size, but I'm a fan of giant phones. So I don't want Galaxy Note size, but maybe similar size to the Galaxy S3 or maybe even a little bit bigger would have been great for me. But overall, I'm pretty happy these rumors hold true. So what do you guys think? Do you agree, disagree, are you excited? Excited about the possibilities of a Galaxy Nexus 2? I want to hear your thoughts. John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check us out for the latest and greatest tech news. And also, we've got a brand new fancy deals page up on Techno Buffalo. Link's gonna be down below to check that out. We're gonna have new deals. We're working with the folks at Stack Social to have new deals come out, you know, every day, every week. Be sure to go and check out that page for you know the latest discounts and all kinds of good stuff. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.